Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker, where we are going to be harvesting the oregano flower. Now, of course, the leaves are absolutely wonderful for all culinary purposes. <laughs> Italian cooking just wouldn't be the same without the oregano, or the oregano, whatever you want to call it. But the flower itself is absolutely beautiful. This is a wonderful pollinator for bees. They love it. Look, they're crawling all over it. They're happy little bees. But for me, I want that more subtle taste in my cooking and also a nice uh, tea as well. And harvesting couldn't be easier. Simply with a pair of scissors, a knife, secateurs, get hold of the base and cut. Simply work yourself around the plant and try to get them all off at the same height. Any of the stems that haven't uh, flowered yet, simply leave for a few more weeks. Like down here, beautiful and tender. A couple of weeks, they will have flowers, so don't worry. Do you know what? This uh, herb here is full of antioxidants, antibacterial effects, antiviral. It's great with coughs and colds. Um, it really is a godsend. Now, like it said, if taken in tea form, it helps reduce stress and anxiety. And that's definitely something I can get behind. Wow, that smells absolutely beautiful. So let's take our string and tie it up. So we're going to divide this into two bundles here. And each one, let's say, a couple of loops around and make a knot. Wow, look at these beauties, absolutely wonderful. The smell, I just can't get over it. But you know what, let's get on with the drying. So I have a couple of loops over here. And here. Stick a little peg on that, just to keep it secure. Voila. And this weather, it's only gonna take a couple days to dry out two, three, maybe four. And when they're dry, simply turn them upside down, strip the stalks of the leaves, just down motion, just like that, using a pair of gloves, of course. And with the flowers, they'll be dry enough to crumble in your hand. Giving you a super subtle taste for your cooking or most sublime of teas. Well, it's getting far too hot for me to be out here. Um, so while these babies are roasting in the sun, drying up and shriveling, I'm gonna get inside and uh, a little bit of liquid libration. So until next time, this has been Deep in the Bunker, saying take care, stay safe, stay sane.